Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is revisit the profile operation within 1CNC. Now, in our last profile video, what we did is we just profiled one shape. What I'd like to do now is show you how you can profile multiple shapes. So we're going to head back to the main toolbar. Under the CAM category, we'll select Stock Toolpaths, and we're going to select our Mill Profile operation. Down here it says Select a Profile. Our cursor changes to the word Start. Okay, so I'm going to start on this pocket here, so I'm going to left click, and there we get our four arrows. Remember, these arrows determine the side and the direction of cut. I want to climb cut on the inside, so I'm going to left click that arrow. Now my cursor changes to the word end. It wants me to select the very end of the profile. In this example, I want to profile everything, so I could come over here and grab the end of that arc, but it's really much simpler. Just hit the F3 key on your keyboard. Function key 3 will select the rest of the geometry. And you can see, there you go, it's been selected. My cursor changes back to the word start, so we just repeat the process on these other uh, shapes or pockets here. I'm going to grab here. I want a climb cut on the inside, so I'm going to grab that arrow. And I'm going to hit the F3 key on the keyboard. My cursor changes to the word start again. I'm going to grab that. I want a climb cut on the inside. I'm going to grab that arrow, hit the F3 key. And then when I'm finished, I can right hand mouse click. And so then again, it's just really going through the same things that you've seen before in the past. I'll say there's a half inch diameter. I'm going to say this one's back in turret position number one again. The spindle speed, I'm going to kick that up to 3000 RPM. My XY feed rate, I'll make 12 inches a minute. Uh, the depth of cut we have at minus 2. I, I want to we'll put that in at minus 0.75. That's the bottom of the pocket. I'll make my clearance value uh, set to 0.5. That means uh, when the tool moves from pocket to pocket, it's going to use this uh, clearance value of a half inch, which is safe enough for me. That looks good. 50 thousandths, that's where we're going to start to feed in. The top of the material is Z0, and there's our final depth at minus 0.75. Uh, you have uh, different ways of machining this. You have cut levels, which will cut uh, will profile each uh, depth of cut at its particular cut increment or you can use ramp which is a spiral cut. I'm going to do that for this example. We're going to make this ramp. We'll use a ramp angle of 5 degrees and the maximum ramp depth of 0.5. That's fine. That just means that the ramp depth will never exceed that value. I'm going to say that's okay. We're not, don't think we have to run into that for this. So we'll click next and we've got our auto step over. I'm going to make that 65% we don't going to leave anything on the sides here. I'll leave that set to zero. We'll click next. Uh, I don't need an extra finish pass because we're not leaving we're not leaving any material here, so I don't need an extra finish pass. Click next. This is how we approach an exit, and you've probably seen this before in our previous video. I'm going to make this line arc. I'm going to arc in, and the arc's going to be a hundred thousandths. I'm only going to use 45 degrees worth of an arc in. I don't need this extra line here. That's this line right here. I don't need that. So I'm going to leave these two values set to zero. I want my exit values to be just like my entry values. So I'm going to click this arrow right here. This saves me a lot of time because it just populates my exit values with exactly the same thing I have here for my entry values. All that looks good, so I'll click finish. And there we go. There is our profiling. And so to uh, to make this more interesting, you can see I have a, a spiral or a ramp cut on here for each one of those and we machined all the way to depth. When it gets to depth, it stays at the depth and then goes all the way around at that Z depth. Alright, so there is a different look at the profile operation within one CNC. Another thing I want to point out before I quit this video is, and I might have touched on this before, but I want to show you how easy it is to reorder your operations. You can see here that the very last command was this profile command, but what if we wanted this profile operation to happen right after the pocketing? Just left click on the operation, hold the left mouse button down, and just drag it where you want it. So now you can see we were pocketing, and then we were uh, uh, profile, and then we performed the clean circle, and then the, uh, the drill hole wizard there for those holes. Alright, thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.